Hey guys, Bud Firebird here. I was actually going to bring a little bit of uh, tips and tricks uh, to you guys. Well, uh, not really tips and tricks, just a little helpful information. Um, everybody already knows about the water tower right here. Everybody already knows about that. There's already plenty of videos on that. But I saw a couple people was having a problem uh, and their solution to fix the problem was in, in my opinion, way more complicated than it needs than it needed to be. They were coming up with these um, crazy designs and everything uh, to help fix the problem. But I'm going to show you guys a simple solution that fixes a problem. It's real easy. Um, yes, that goes all the way to my factory at the moment, which is way the hell over there. Uh, it's only temporary. I am going to get a train that starts to come by here. And uh, there's four nodes here, so a train will come by and pick up the oil and then wrap back around to my factory. And I can get rid of this pipeline. This is only temporary. Um, so the problem that they were having uh, was as soon as the extractors themselves get backed up a little bit, it, they would shut off and... Um, it would interrupt the flow up here and this this would drain out because it's not being a full 600 all the way across because these kept shutting off when they got backed up it would interrupt everything uh, and they just couldn't pull the full 600 the entire time they needed so with this design as long as there is a demand on the receiving end this will never stop flowing a full 600 and I can even show it 602 the entire time 602 fill 602 drain it will never st uh, drop below that if there is the demand for it on the other side never will I overclocked the crap out of these extractors to over exaggerate the issue. But I'll show you guys what's going on. Okay. As you see, this one's overclocked. Let's go to another one. That one's not moving a whole lot. Okay. So it fills up. And then it stops. The flow stops. Uh, it will drain, start draining through here. But that interrupts the pressure on the whole thing. Especially if all four of them are doing it. Simple solution. Buffer. Have a small fluid buffer right after the extractor on every extractor. And this right here will go up and down it will stop but this is always full as you see the numbers are going up and down because it's it's filling up and then slowly draining uh, the other pressure coming through here the flow rate but these get filled up they all get pumped up there to that fluid buffer And that helps this to never drop below 600. If I remove these buffers, that will occasionally drop below 600 because of flow issues. And then the receiving end at your factory will every now and then drop below 600, even if the demand is above or equivalent to 600 simple solution just fixes it i hope this helps people um there's no need for some weird giant amalgamation <laughs> this just fixes it i hope this helps um if there's anything else i can figure out or discover for you guys i will post here if you guys have any more questions uh shoot me a message i have a discord and i have a twitch 
and I can find a simple solution to it, hopefully, and uh, get back to you guys. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.